The Amazing Transformation of Ali Spagnola. Hello and welcome, I'm Sai with Things Very Good, and today I just wanted to share an amazing transformation and answer how did she do this. Okay, so it's about Ali Spagnola, and this is what she used to look like, and this is what she looks like now. So how did she have this amazing transformation? You might be surprised, but she went from doing less of something that was painful, that she didn't necessarily enjoy a lot, to doing something that she enjoyed that wasn't as painful. And this is what I just wanted to talk with you about really quick. A lot of people think that they're gonna go and do this cardio type workout, and they're going to get in good shape, and they're going to lose all this weight. And for some people that might work, but in Ollie's case, like many other people, she basically was running long, long distances, longer and longer, and doing exercises that were this, what people would refer to as steady state cardio. So that's kind of like long distance exercise, like running. Besides running, the elliptical machine is something that she was using. And I would line up with all my college women friends and elliptical for as long as I could to burn calories. And this is the common mindset that I was getting at earlier. You just gotta do this boring thing for as long as you can stand it to lose as much weight as you can. But it didn't work. And I was like, huh, well, I must not be miserable enough. That's it. So she basically went from using the elliptical machine to doing longer and longer runs to the point where she was doing half marathon runs regularly. And that's what she looked like in the picture that we showed on the left. It's not that hard to do the elliptical. I'm not forcing myself that badly. I can still watch TV, so I should be running. That sounds like it sucks. So I started running and it did suck. My goodness. And I would do two miles a day of the stuff, but that was fitness. I was miserable, so I was working, except it wasn't working anymore. Then I started running half marathons on the weekend. I would do my six miles baseline during the week, and then on the weekend, 13.1 miles. I invented this thing where I did 13 13 milers in 13 weeks, except, well, it wasn't enough, so I did 14 weeks. Meanwhile, I'm still not seeing a result. This is the type of thing that she was doing, and it turns out that she didn't like it, and she really wasn't getting the results that she wanted to. So she ended up, just by chance, kind of ending up in this Muay Thai boxing class. I moved to LA, and I was like, huh, Maybe since I'm in the big city now, I'll take a self-defense class. And I went to a self-defense class, and turns out I got the time wrong, and it was a Muay Thai boxing class, and then I fell in love with this accident, so now I'm a Thai boxer, I guess. Which kickboxing is secret high-intensity interval training. It's just rounds where you work, and then you take a break, and then you work, and this is my first after photo. Wow, it, my body responded. What? I looked awesome and I felt awesome. And so from there, she also started to do some CrossFit and some weight training and looked like this. So you can see she had these transformations and now she enjoys what she is doing more. And the point isn't that you should stop running, according to her, meaning if you like running, then why not keep running? And I think the main point here is that it doesn't have to be miserable what you do to get in shape. But if you're just trying to get in shape and you're doing something that's making you miserable, like steady state cardio, which is like running, you might, might, might want to try something like sprinting instead in intervals where you have a rest in between or something like CrossFit or something like Muay Thai boxing or weight training. All of these things do often help people to transform in a way that they didn't expect to. Bottom line is, is that this is something a lot of people experience because they've been taught that if you want to lose weight, you just go do cardio. And in reality, a lot of times people have a lot better results with doing a different type of training. A good example is just to look at marathon runners and then look at sprinters. And this can kind of give you a good idea of what the results for you could be too. Fitness doesn't have to suck. Just because you're not forcing yourself doesn't mean that it won't work. And there are other options besides what I mentioned in this video. The point is that you could probably benefit from rethinking your definition of fitness. So find the fun 
and the abs will find you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe and share this video with others. And if you want to support me in this channel, you can always check the links below this video and there may be some things that are beneficial for you that also benefit me when you use the links. So thank you so much again for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.